So out of the final turn in to start the last lap of the race. It has been a fantastic lap from Kanemaru, 1 minute 42.4, and he gets to within a second of Tereshenko as the pair of them head into the braking zone for turn one, but the Emilio of Lotto Motorsport car of Yukanamaru isn't quite close enough to challenge the Campos entry of Tereshenko. So as they climb up into turn three, Kanemaru is also what's happening is he's getting into that turbulent air now, directly behind Konstantin Tereshenko. That means that he's having to uh, probably experience a fair degree of understeer, but that fastest lap is very important because it really does make things very, very difficult for Konstantin Tereshenko. So, watching on from the pit wall, that was Emilio Blotta Senior there, the former Williams Formula One driver, as they turn out of turn nine, down the hill towards heavy braking zone at turn ten. The Canemaru still not close enough to challenge Tereshenko. And although the gap comes down fractionally, Tereshenko looks as if he's got just enough here. It's going to be a fifth victory of the season for Konstantin Tereshenko. It has been an absolutely magnificent performance from the Russian driver who has done all that was asked of him. He has utterly dominated this race, but he's not set the fastest lap. But he will take the win as he heads through the final corner, accelerates through, the chequered flag goes out, and Konstantin Tereshenko takes the win to the delight of the Campos Racing team. A round of applause in second place from the Emilio de Velotta squad for Yukanamaru, and third place to Vitor Baptista with Tanis Yukadeya in fourth the graphic i think a little bit out because of uh, baptista's transponder not kicking through baptista in third you can tell the fourth menchaka fifth and top rookie pulcini sixth second rookie and eagle Alilko 11th completing the rookie podium now in terms of the championship this now starts to get incredibly complicated because tereshenko has won it and without drop scores is still very much mathematically in the hunt. The, the problem is once you start applying the impact of, of the drop scores into the mix in the event of uh, retirements for tomorrow. So let's have a look then at the final results. So Tereshenko wins it. Kanemaru in second place and fastest that. Vito Baptista in third. Danny Ukadeya fourth. Diego Mancharco a great fifth. Top rookie from Nilo Pulcini. Yaren Stern held on for seventh place, clear of Tanat Sathian Thiracol and Damiano Fiavranti and Ferdinand Habsburg completing the top ten on his Euro Formula Open debut. Nico Lilko, the third rookie.